Hello, this is Daryl as a service. I want to take you through another episode of how I do what I do. I'm going to be um, doing a live presentation um, inside a Microsoft Teams live event, and I'm using OBS to try and um, change up the scenes and, and make it look a little more interesting than the limited ability we've got with Teams. Um, so, uh, what I want to do is take you through the setup quickly, not in too much detail, but um, enough to show you and get you a gist of what I do. Um, so we have uh, the presentation that's going to be on the primary monitor. We have the live event that's over on monitor two. And on my laptop we have OBS running um, so that it can uh, control the scenes. Um, we also have a Rode Wireless Go mic, that's the receiver, plugged into the headphone jack. And so that becomes the source for um, the recording um, and also the live event um, and I'm going to be using within Teams um, a custom setup so that it's uh, not just using the Rode mic, I'm using the Rode mic as the microphone but I'm also using this as the earpiece so I can hear the producer but there is possibly going to be a friend in there who will also be helping out with um, asking and answering questions. So that way I can hear what's going on but the audio is um, going to be um, to the live event using the Rode Wireless Go. I don't have the lapel mic for that today. Um, and uh, you know, that would sort of sit up there where I've got my lapel mic at the moment for recording this video. Right, so continuing. Um, what have we got? We've got a few scenes that we're going to use. Um, so first of all, let's just bring up some of those scenes so that you can see what is possible. We'll project that over to screen three. Right, so the scenes that we have. Uh, we have uh, the full welcome, and so it's a hello, how you doing sort of thing. Um, we're going to drop this uh, presentation into, where's my mouse, there it is. Over to presentation mode. Right, so that's going to be capturing that full screen there. Um, the scenes that are going to be this one. So that is, and I'll center it a bit here, um, so I can talk to the slides and I can tap my way through. Um, we'll just go back a couple of slides. Um, there's going to be a video that's playing um, initially too, so I'm going to need to full screen that with desktop only. Uh, so there's desktop only, and uh, then I'll just tap through and allow that to play. It does have music, so we'll cover off how we capture that in the Teams Live event soon. Uh, but let's just tap on through, make a little joke about uh, So You Caught Me Wicking Man, and away we go. Um, the other scene that we can use um, is this one. So that means that I can talk about the content and I'll still be uh, there and visible. And uh, one last one, which you'll see when I, when I play it, but I'm going to capture the uh, Q&A as part of the, the scene as well, so I can ask and answer the questions um, at the same time as showing them to the audience. Right, so let's exit this and get it going. Right, we'll go back to our initial scene, and we'll close off that. Right, so now we've got our Teams live event. Uh, ready to go. Um, we will get this into presentation mode. And over on um, on the live event, uh, we'll join the meeting as a producer. Okay. Now the other thing that I'm using is a virtual camera. So when I um, fire that up in OBS, then it is going to present exactly what is on my stage as my webcam. And that's the tidy way of being able to capture um, everything that I want people to see and produce it and present it into the live event. Um, so we have that, that's good. All right, um, we're going to join with our microphone and we have custom setup. So if I just open that up and you can see it, um, let's just take you a bit closer there. We've got the headphone uh, earpiece, is, or speakers rather, is the Jabra earpiece so I can hear uh, the producer. And, um, and the microphone is the microphone jack on my laptop 
connected to my wireless go uh, so that I can have a wireless lapel mic and if I chose to stand up and present and, and be a bit more animated then I can do that right so let's join that now and we'll close the device settings eventually um, so the the first thing that I want to line up um, is that I've got my content which predominantly will be just the webcam that I'm presenting now that means that I don't have to change within Microsoft Teams at all um, but rather I can just use my stream deck and I can control the scenes that I've got set up over in OBS one thing I will do though is I want to be able to share my audio because there's an opening video that I want people to see uh, just to get people into the mood rather than just seeing me standing there and talking about my title slide and to do that I have to share my desktop and my system audio but I don't necessarily have to have it presented um, at, within the, uh, the sent to live so I don't have to be sharing my desktop and sending it to live I'm going to send the, the video to live, my webcam, um, and I'm going to go one step further and just set up the uh, share in my desktop. Now as I'm sharing my desktop, I've, I'm going to share the screen that has my PowerPoint on it. And that of course is going to minimize it because that's team's been really helpful. Uh, we'll just bring that back up so I can see things and minimize that. Right. Now, um, because I don't have to have it presented um, on screen, what I've found is that over here where I'm presenting and sharing my desktop, as long as I use this feature, hover up at the top and choose to share system audio or include system audio. Now the key thing here to make sure that works is that the audio that is being shared has to be the default device I have chosen in my um, Windows system tray. So if we go back down over to here, I have the Jabra headset chosen as my audio device. So when audio plays out from the computer, plays my PowerPoint, then it's going to play that audio. Um, I'll be able to hear it in here, but my audience will be able to hear it too over the live event. Um, what I've had to do too in my scenes is uh, make sure that the Rode Wireless Go as part of the, the scene when I'm sharing my desktop. And that way, when I do choose to share desktop only, um, that I have the Rode uh, speakers, or rather the, uh, the Jabra speakers on and chosen so that it is uh, presenting that content. All right, so when that's playing something, it will. Okay. Um, what else have we got over here? We have uh, we'll definitely shared that system audio. Okay, so that's going to work. My opening scene um, is going to be that video, and I, I want people to come into a dark room um, because I, I want to make a little more impact as I'm doing. So I've got a blank scene set up for that, and um, that's all ready to go. Okay, so let's start this live show. Live events, continue. And um, I'm gonna have my, my microphone on mute so that as it comes in silently, there's gonna be a few seconds of buffer as it is silent, so I've got more control over what I'm seeing there. Now when I unmute, I'm gonna start playing my PowerPoint over here on the screen. I'll play that. And we'll have the desktop chosen, of course. So that's playing the music through. I can hear it in my earpiece. Um, I, of course, will be quiet as this is playing through so that that's not being talked about over the top. Um, and then that scene's going to go through. Uh, we don't need to make you necessarily watch it all. But we'll... Uh, Continue on to this scene here where I get to talk about who, what inspired that idea for starting up and it was actually uh, um, 
our uh, So You Caught Me Working Man in the Microsoft Office 365 uh, marketing. Right, so we've got that scene there and then I'll cut out to here where I get to talk to people and say hello, thanks for watching um, and get the uh, next scene all queued up to go to my title slide which is thank you very much everyone for coming in to the talk blah de blah de blah. Um, so that's how I plan to, to get through and, and show some of these uh, capabilities um, uh, yeah, around, around using these different scenes. Um, I, I, one more thing that I do want to show you is when I do get to Q&A time, um, then I will have the, uh, the panel opened up. And uh, what I can do is I've got a scene where I'm going to tap over to here and I can um, manage the questions and uh, read them through and allow people to you know, ask those questions. I'll publish them, of course. It's a bit of a hard job when you are you know, one-man band, maybe, that you are looking out for these questions and you're just publishing them. I want to be able to be looking directly at the camera so that people can, um, can see me and can engage with me rather than me looking occasionally going, question, um, publish question, publish question. Uh, but if you've got a second person, of course, that's going to help. All right, so that's a few of those scenes. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about what I wanted to show. Um, let's see how it plays out. <laughs> I'll get back to you afterwards to, to uh, maybe do a little debrief and say how that worked out, whether it did or not. But I have run it a few, through a few times, run a, a live event, listen to the recording. It's picking up my audio from the Rode Wireless Go, um, and it's sharing it with a live event. And um, I'm also going to be recording it on OBS just to make sure I'm getting that full quality locally so I can publish that video instead. Um, so thanks again for tuning in, for watching. And uh, if you want to keep seeing how I do what I do, then subscribe and follow this channel. And um, hit the bell, of course, if you want to keep up to real date with, with what I'm doing. As soon as I'm creating and publishing that content, uh, you will get a notification. Cheers.